Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa intercepts and zeros of rational functions. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, let's have this one, intercepts and zeros of rational functions. Mga anak ko, ang intercepts ay intersection ng rational, uh, fun, oh, ng graph of rational function and the, uh, uh, and our axis, ha? Ulit, ha? Discuss ko muna yung mga terms natin. Uh, intersection of the rational of the graph of rational function and the x and y axis. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang klase ng intercept. Meron tayong x intercept okay, and y-intercept. Now, hindi pa laging present itong mga to ha. Pwedeng may x-intercept siya, pwedeng wala, pwedeng may y-intercept siya, pwede ring wala, ha? Okay, in finding the x-intercept, ang ginagawa natin dyan, yung y natin, ini-equate natin siya into 0. Or, uh, ang y natin ay equals kay 0. So, yung value ng y natin, we're when we are finding for the x-intercept, 0 siya. And syempre, pag y-intercept naman yung hinahanap, yung x natin, ang value niya, 0. Okay, now for yung zeros, yung zeros naman natin are values of x which will make the function 0. Okay? which will make the function 0. So, ibig sabihin, itong uh, zeros natin, pareho sila ni x-intercept. Kasi sa x-intercept, yung value ng y natin ay 0. So, pag nakuha mo na yung x-intercept, makukuha mo na rin yung zeros of rational function. For independent practice number 1, ito yung magiging guide ninyo. Ha? Given the rational function f of x is equal to 4x plus 12, over x minus 2, answer the following questions. What are the two functions used to form the rational function? Dahil alam naman natin na ang rational function ay f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. So, ang p of x natin dyan will be our in q of x should not be equal to 0, ha? Okay, so P of X natin dyan is equal to 4X plus 12. And ang Q of X natin is equal to X minus 2. So, yung dalawang function dyan ay ito, saka ito. Okay, where, X should, where our Q of X is not equal to 0, ha? Sorry, is not equal to 0. Bawal maging 0 ang Q of X natin. Now, what is the x-intercept of the function? Which function did you use to determine the x-intercept? Y. Okay. To find for the x-intercept, di ba? Ang ginagawa lang naman natin dyan, will make our y 0. Okay. So, para mas mabilis yun, kasi kung gagawin natin tong 0, x minus 2 times 0, 0 lang naman siya eh. Kung naka-y ito, kung naka-y ito, di ba? So, ang gagawin na lang natin para mas mabilis, i-equate lang natin yung numerator into 0. So, 4x plus 12 equals to 0. Yan lang yung gagawin natin. And then, let's solve. So, 4x is equal to 12. Itatranspose siya magiging negative 12. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. So, x is equal to uh, negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So, it means ang coordinates niyan ay negative 3. Tapos, ang y natin ay, di ba, 0. 
Ayan. So, pag x-intercept, y is equal to 0. Kaya ito naging 0. Now, which function did you use to determine the x-intercept? Ito yung what is the... What is the x-intercept of the function? Ito yung sagot dyan, ha? And then, ano daw yung ginamit nyo? We use... What? P of x is equal to 4x plus 12. Okay, why? Because... In finding the x-intercept x intercept set you have to equate the numerator into zero okay so kayo na lang umintindi nung ano ko sulat ko mahirap magsulat eh. because in finding the x intercept you have to equate the numerator into 0 so dapat maging 0 lang yung numerator natin para makuha natin yung x intercept now what is the y intercept how did you get the y intercept so in finding for the y intercept kung sa x intercept yung y magiging 0 pag y intercept naman natin yung x naman yung magiging 0 okay since we we have here uh, y is equal to ano yung ano natin uh, equation ito is equal to 4x plus 12 equals to x minus 2. Yung mga x dyan, papalitan na natin ng 0. Kaya magiging y is equal to 4 times 0 plus 12 and then 0 minus 2. O, what is 4 times 0? This is 0 plus 12, so that is 12 over negative 2. So, that's y. So, y is equal to 12 divided by negative 2. We have negative 6. So, yung coordinates niya will be 0, negative 6. Bakit 0 yan? Kasi ang x natin, 0. Ang y natin, negative 6. Dito, kaya din naman to naging negative 3. Kasi ito yung nasolve natin x. Tapos yung y natin, 0. So, coordinates lang yung kinukuha natin dyan. So, what is the x-intercept of the function? Ang sagot nyo, ito. Okay? And then, how did you get the y-intercept? We change... Bakit nabubura? We change x into 0. Then solve. O, yun yung ginawa. Ginawa nyo. You change x into 0 and then solve for the value of y. Ano ba ang nangyayari sa akin? Ayan. So, ganyan. Ha? Kayo na mag-explain. Kayang-kaya nyo na yan. Now, what is the zero of the function? ba Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung zero of a function para lang siyang x-intercept natin. So, kung ang x-intercept natin ay eto, we will have here okay, 4x ano yan? 4x plus 12 equals y. So, 4x plus 12, gagawin natin itong 0. So, 4x is equal to negative 12. And then, nilipat kasi yan. Ha? Divided by 4, divided by 4, so x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the 0 of the function is negative 3. Okay? Kapag zero mga anak, wala na siyang kapartner katulad na itong mga to ha sa x-intercept and y-intercept. Kasi pag x-intercept and y-intercept, coordinates yung kailangan natin. natin. Pag zero, value lang naman ng x. So, the zero of the function is negative 3. Okay, now remember, to find the, the y-intercept, substitute zero for the x and then solve for y. Or f of x. So, eto yun. Eto yung dapat nilagay nyo dito. Ayan. Okay? You have to substitute 0 for x and then solve for y. And then, to find for the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. And for the 0 naman, pareho lang sila ng x-intercept. Okay? Ulit ha. Pag y, yung x natin magiging 0. Pag x, yung y natin magiging 0. Pag... Ah, uh, 0 naman para lang siyang x-intercept. 
Okay, so let's have this one complete. Let's complete this one. So for the x-intercept, di ba sinabi lang naman natin kanina na equate the numerator into 0. Okay, or yung y natin will be equal to 0. So x minus 16, eto yan, di ba? y is equal to x minus 16 equal, uh, over x plus 4 yan, di ba? So ang intindihin lang natin, eto. So, we have x minus 16 equal to 0. So, x is equal to 16. So, ang y-intercept natin will be 16 and 0. Ang x ay 16, ang y ay 0. So, x and then y. Ayan yon. For the y-intercept naman, lahat ng x papalitan natin ng 0. So, y is equal to x minus 16 over x plus 4. Lahat ng x papalitan ng 0. So, y is equal to 0 plus 16. Ah, sorry, minus pala yung ano natin. Symbol, ah, operation. So, x minus 16, x, a uh, 0 minus 16 over 0 plus a 4. So, this is negative 16 over 4. 0 minus 16 is negative 16, 0 plus 4 is 4. So, y is equal to what is negative 16 divided by 4? Okay, correct. That's negative 4. So, we have 0, negative 4. Okay, tandaan, di ba, pag x, ah, pag y-intercept, ang x natin ay 0. Kaya yung x mo dito, 0. And then, kapag y naman, ah, sorry, ang y naman natin, yung nasob natin. Kaya 0, negative 4, ito yan. Okay, that's it. Ito naman, ito yan sa x natin. Okay, now, sa zeros of the function naman, di ba, sabi kanina, siya lang naman yung ating x-intercept. So, x minus 16 equals to 0. Lipat lang siya doon. So, x is equal to 16. So, yan yung zeros natin. Then, for number 2, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 over x plus 3. Okay, so this is y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9 over x plus 3. Para sa x-intercept, yung numerator, i-equate natin sa 0. So, y is 0, x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals to 0. Dahil kayang i-factor, i-factor na lang natin, ha? So, x and then x. Anong factors ni 9 na kapag in natin? Kasi plus ito ay 6 yung magiging answer. 3 times 3. Tama, kasi 3 plus 3 is 6. So, we have 3 and then 3. Dahil positive to ibig sabihin pareho sila ng sign. Pero dahil negative ito, ibig sabihin pareho silang negative. And then, equate natin sa 0. x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 3 equals 0. So, this is x equals 3. So, iisa lang naman sila. Parehong x equals 3. So, ang ating x-intercept ay 3, yung value ng x mo, and then yung value ng y mo, 0, 0. Okay? Now, for the y-intercept, ano naman to? Ang x naman natin ay 0. So, lahat ng x sa substitute natin ng 0. So, y is equal to 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 9 over 0 plus 3. So, this is 0 na to, diba? 0 squared is 0, uh, minus 6 times 0 is 0 also. So, 9 na lang to. Over 0 plus 3 is 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, yung y mo ay 3. So, ang x mo, eto, 0. Ang y mo ay 3. Okay. So, yan yung mga sagot natin x and then y. And then for the zeros, ba kapareho lang siya ng x-intercept. So, x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to ano to? Aha! Teka, teka, teka. So, equals din to kay 0, ha? And then, factor lang din. So, x minus 3, x minus 3 equals 0. Pareho lang sila nito, ha? Ayan. So, we have here x equals to 3. Ito yung 0 natin for this one. And then, for the last one, we have this one. Ano nangyari dito? Teka, napa-enter tayo ng marami. Wait lang. Ay. 
Yan. Okay. So, we have this one. So, for the x-intercept, this is y is equal to x squared plus 25 over x minus 5. Yung numerator, i-equate natin sa 0. So, x squared plus 25 equals 0. Kasi y is 0. So, lipat to dito, x squared is equal to aha, negative 25. Kung kukunin natin yung square root niyan, wala tayong makukuwang value. So, no x-intercept. Kasi, walang square root ang negative 25. Kahit i-calculator nyo maghapon magdamag. Okay? And then, for the y-intercept, intercept, so, x is 0. Okay? So, we have y is equal to 0 squared plus 25 over 0 minus 5. So, lahat lang ng x, pinalitan natin ng 0. So, 25 over negative 5. What is 25 divided by negative 5? That's 5. So, ang y natin ay equals kay negative 5. And then, we have 0, negative 5. Ito ang x, ito ang y. Okay, so this is our y-intercept. At dahil nga, wala nga tayong x-intercept, so dito, it follows na no zeros din. Ha? Kasi nga, negative 25 to. Magiging imaginary lang yung zeros natin. Okay, so that's it for this one. Mga anak ko, kung naintindihan ninyo ang video na ito, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Help me up this video by writing your comments. Sana sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-comment kayo para matulungan nyo naman yung mga videos natin. Ma-up, ganun kasi yun mga anak. At syempre... I-share na rin to sa mga classmates na no? kasi baka mamaya nahihirapan sila. At least may guidance sila. Hindi puro nangongopia lang ha. At least alam ang procedure. Ang mahalaga doon, hindi naman yung answer. Ang mahalaga, natutunan nyo kung paano nakuha yung answer. Kung may sagot nga kayo, eh, hindi nyo naman alam kung paano nakuha. Nonsense. Kaya wag nang mangopia, mag-solve, mag-aral. Okay? And please visit me on, our, on, on my Facebook page. Love Ma TV. Sige na mga anak ha, pa-follow naman. At syempre, let's spread the love of Ma. Thank you and bye!